told me that you felt it too Cause your beauty was as clear as your way in this world I got an eye for a heart that's kind and true You were headed back west to your hometown Packing up and rooting down to start anew I must admit I had to tempt my excitement When your brown eyes met my blue Got a good feeling about you. Sure is spring rain without a doubt. I got a feeling that this love is true. So if you don't mind, let's check it out. We made a home in this city by the sea. We left some tracks on the ridge tops of the trails. We built a love to try to set each other free. The wind that would fill each other's sails. Now we're lost in this wilderness of our hearts, with no map for us to find a way back home. Built a fire so we wouldn't fall apart to stave off that deep winter's chill to the bone. Thank you so much, folks. We are Crooked Constellation. It is an absolute pleasure to be here with y'all tonight. How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. It's good to be here. Yep, well, thank you, and welcome to our uh, live recording and concert of Farewell, My Dears, Good Night. It's kind of our uh, last hurrah, so it's really special that y'all are here with us tonight. Um, yeah, just to let you know, this is, it is a live recording. We are recording the audio. That does not mean you need to be uh, dead silent. If you have a joke to tell, maybe wait. But if you hear something you like, don't hesitate to hold forth. Unless you know? it's a really, really, really funny joke. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's a good joke. Yeah. Good notes. <laughs> we'll stop. <laughs> we stop for jokes. 
That last song was Good Feeling. That's a song for my dear love and life partner, Nia. Let's give a round of applause for Nia, please. <clears throat> so many things I could say. Um, our next song is Wheelhouse Driver Blues. This is a song about my side hustle. Yeah. Uh, there's at least one bus driver in the audience. Maybe two. One, two. All right. I wasn't supposed to give it away that quick. Not right now. It's like a guessing game. All right. Oh. Two. One, two, three. Oh, wait. I need a capo. That would have been a funny way to start the song. And he's amazing because he, he wrote all of these songs and he still forgets the capo sometimes. Like in my moment right yeah, now. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Focused on what I'm saying. There we are. Uh, two.
upset if I see a nose out one more time. I'm gonna keep it for my pet. So put your mask on. You got to put your mask on right. And if you put your mask on, we might make it through all right. Thank you so much. Give it up for David Chapman there on the banjo, everyone. David Chapman. Well, this next song is a special tune. Uh, I never really like set out to write a ballad, a story song until I wrote this song. And this is definitely a story song. You'll know when we get to like minute 10, you're like, this is a story song. <laughs> But uh, this song, I did not write this song alone. I need to give some songwriting credits to uh, Sam Friedman, Davi Weasley, and McCain Lakey. So let's give a round of applause to those three folks. They were instrumental in putting this song together in a way that we felt was good. Uh, so big thanks to them. Appreciate y'all. This song's called The Ballad of Dodge and Little Blue. Dodge was a fly boy, a little tricky, where the old spruce flats meet the sound. In the wind and the waves carve out sandstone caves when the storms howl. They were raised by their mom in a pine wood shack. She was a bush pilot by trade. They provisioned the towns of the western slopes in their little blue 7 2 J. Their mom was called Bertie. Her name had been her by provisioners from far and wide. For her solid control as she bank swooped and rolled, and she always had Dodge by her side. She taught him there's blue skies upon high, blue skies upon Bertie swept floors at Air Base McCabe, where she picked up the waves of the runway wrench, started fixing all the planes that decayed. She dreamed of those blue skies as she trudged past the junkyard to work. She pushed back on the come ons and cat calls there. Took some bruises and scars in the dirt. Oh, the night Dodge was born, then the father was gone. Bertie's life was so sweet, yet so hard. Then a glimmer of blue caught her eye one day in the rust of the old junkyard. Little blue was a 
fighter had since been retired, yet Bertie restored him with care. When they laid off her job at the air base McCain, Little Blue was nearly all there. In time, she took to moonshine in to buy groceries while Dodge did the chores. For she was a young single mother back then, still she always broke bread with the poor. Then the lawmen burst in and they poured out her gin, took her earnings and laid the place bare. So Dodge packed their things and on little blue's wings to Chiquita. rose every morn to get little blue warm and forecast the weathers that came. Dodge grew up tall and in love they did fall with Ramirez, the clerk's son in town. Those two were good in their day till they faded away as restlessness wore poor Dodge down. Oh, a blanket Fog damp, the lullaby songs that rang down on Chiquita each eve. Was the purr of little blues engine up there as Dodge throttled to where they could prove? Dodge approached graduation, unsure of their station. And how much to share or to shield. Then the Rocky Horror Picture Show featured in town. Dodge through toast in their fishnets and heels. So Dodge came out, Bertie loved without doubts, and their lives carried on much the same. But transitions go hard in Trukina town. So Dodge weathered the threats and the names. Then McCabe sent recruiters up coast to Chiquita, for fly boys were in short supply. They rode high on their horses of honor and duty, persuaded Dodge fell into.
down through familiar clouds to the shack midst the spruce near the sound where Dodge tumbled out into Birdie's arms there they laughed, wept, embraced on the ground the years while by in Keaton town Dodge flew little blue every morn they were troubled by dreams but Ramirez, it seems, helped them weather the memory storms. Was the life that they made and the family they raised in the place that they loved for so long? And every so often, just when they'd forgotten, Dodge hummed a familiar song. Thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you so much, folks. One thing we're lucky to have here is an incredible band. We've got Ryan Brubaker over here on the fiddle. Let's give it up for him. An incredible feature on Dodging Little Blue. Got Zach Bassett on the mandolin. Claire Human is holding it down on the bass. I already introduced David Chapman. Once more, let's give it up for David Chapman on the banjo. And of course, our fearless leader, Andy Ingram on the guitar. Thanks, guys. And this next song. We are excited to invite a guest to the stage. Everybody give it up for Nakos Marker on the Dobro. next song is about a dog. You know the one. That good dog. I mean, I'm talking about Luna Dog, but I'm also talking about the archetypal good dog, the cosmic good dog. You know what dog I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe you have that good dog right now, or maybe you've had that good dog. But this song is about that good dog. And uh, that dog, you knew from when they were a wee little pup. They were with you through good times and hard times. Always there for you. Then one day, the blink of an eye, they're gone. That's what this song was about. I remember hot spring soaks and your pretty 
pretty red coat in that ragged joy you'd run you'd run so fast you'd run so fast now i'm crying down that highway recalling how i found your name night that big sky fell from a deck of stars till the old moon swept the game it seemed so right on that moon of night Tracker, always off the trail for all the sense and signs. It seemed I only had to whistle through the trees. You come back just fine. Sugar House to Arkansas, that sky come nothing that you saw for 14 years. Till the night we laid you down in that rain so brown. After one last switch between the ears, it went so fast. Seems the good thing they don't last. It's hard to choose. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, this next song is by our fearless banjo player, David Chapman.
what's that? Oh. Once again, David Chapman on the banjo. Knockers Marker on the dobo, everybody. Thank you so much. All right. This next song is a Zach song. Get stoked. <laughs> The song I wrote about the house I grew up in back home in Alaska. 
Which, fun fact, Ryan and I are both from Alaska. <laughs> Went to preschool together, even. Oh. Played on a preschool soccer team together. Oh, that was adorable, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, but this song's about that house. My parents built the house, and this might be a myth, but I think they ordered too many windows when they built it. And so our living room has a bunch of windows in it. It's like a huge wall, a ton of windows, and spent a lot of mornings watching the sunrise during the winter at 10.30, as it does up there in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's kind of where this song came from. So, yeah. It's called Saturday Sun. shakes like the trees when the north winds come round. Each memory is kept in a soft silhouette. Each step takes me further away. There ain't no forgetting the Saturday sun. As it slips through the cracks of the tree. Goodbye, so long, Saturday sun. Will you shine long after I? Leave? I remember the day when the first snow came down and the house slept alone. In its soft silk white gown. The snow keeps on falling, and I keep on calling for the winds to carry me. Zach Bassett, everybody. Zach Bassett on the mandolin. All right, I'm going to start talking now. No? Oh, sorry. Too bad. Uh, I was told to fill a good portion of time while the cameras changed their batteries, but we took this lovely little break, uh, and so I don't need to anymore, but I already thought up this story, so I'm going to tell you either way. Um, it seems like a final concert is as good a place as any to kind of talk about uh, Zach and my origin story in the band and how we got started playing with Crooked. Zach already stole part of my story, which is that we actually went to preschool together at uh, St. Mary's Preschool back in Anchorage, Alaska, on the corner of Tudor and Lake Otis, if you're trying to go uh, take a tour. Um, and we, we went to elementary school there, and we also started playing bluegrass music uh, roughly the same time, but we were in like uh, 
roughly elementary school. And on Saturdays, we would get together with a big group of people, with uh, young, young people and teens and their parents, and we would play bluegrass standards in this circle, and it's where I learned and where I think Zach learned a lot of the bluegrass tunes that we, uh, we know now. And as we got older, kind of coming up through those Saturday jam sessions, we started attending a folk fest, a uh, folk camp rather, Alaska City Folk Arts Camp, that was run by the same woman that hosted those jam sessions. And we went there for, for many years until uh, we were getting too old to be students at the camp and had to kind of graduate on to being teachers. But our final year at uh, the camp, we were thrown together with a bunch of the older bluegrass kids into a band class. And that band class was actually led by Eli West, if you were at the uh, folk festival here in Bellingham. So he was our band teacher at this folk camp that was hosted actually at the preschool where we went to preschool when we were young. Kind of a nice little, little circle of things. And then yeah, that band class became the first band we played in together called the Vinyl Floors up in, up in Alaska. And so all through high school we played around at restaurants and pizza places and these little funky music festivals and taught at camps and it was, it was fantastic. And it was one of the first times I really actually enjoyed uh, playing the fiddle uh, was with the Vinyl Floors. And then uh, senior year rolled around and we graduated and we both toured Western and liked it. And we ended up living a floor apart on the ridge and we'd play bluegrass music in the stairwell and in our rooms late at night until our RA wrote us up for being too loud. <laughs> and uh, you can only get written up so many times before you're like, okay, we need another, another way to play music. Uh, and luckily one of our good friends, Sage Romy, who knows Andy, was like, I know Andy. And we knew that Andy was uh, looking to start a bluegrass group. So Zach and I went separately and auditioned to be in, in this bluegrass in group. In particular, he was looking for a mandolin and a fiddle player. Yes, which is very convenient. <laughs> Say, I refer to Sage, our mutual friend, as the fairy godmother of our band. For, yes, for this Sage Romy. Reason. Thank you, Sage Romy. Big ups to Sage. Yes. She got us Irik, too, where, yeah. when, who we had for a while. She's fantastic. Oh, Irik. Hi, Irik. Bass player Irik. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we both went and auditioned for Andy. And I remember talking to Zach later that night. And I was like, oh, how'd your audition go? And he was like, oh, pretty good. He's like, how'd yours go? I was like, I think I sucked it. Because Andy made me sight read in the audition. And I grew up my whole life learning by rote, which is you play and then I play back what I heard. And Andy put this music in front of me. And I was like, I don't know how to do this. And so I thought I sucked. But Andy saw something in us. And so we ended up playing with Crooked. And he hired the both of us. I, I don't know how to sight read. You don't know how to sight read? And why'd you make me sight read? That was terrifying. It was a horrifying experience for me. Uh, but yeah, Andy hired the two of us, <laughs> and we started playing with Crooked. And through Crooked, we've got to play at a lot of really fantastic venues, some really wonderful bars, and incredible folk festivals here. And we've gotten to play with some of the best bluegrass musicians in the Pacific Northwest. So we're, we're very thankful for Crooked and all the wonderful music we've got to make together. And uh, kind of to bring it all home, this next song we're going to play uh, is called Ballad of Want and Need. And this is a song Zach wrote when we were in high school, when we were 16. I've been told to mention that. Uh, <laughs> and this is one of the songs we played with the vinyl floors, our first band. Uh, this is the Ballad of Want and Need. Left a scar beneath his feet. 
And at night he thought of me And those words that he said The night song this next song is kind of more of a poem you know a long time ago when I first moved to Bellingham uh, one of my good friends who I was in a reggae band with at, at the time for better or for worse uh, uh, told me that my songwriting was very vague is what he said to me he's, he's like what are you talking about and <laughs> it was not wrong at the time uh, and so I took that to heart but this song, I'm not going to call it vague, but uh, it's kind of a meditation. It's a, it's a bit of a, a reverie. I've spent a lot of time on my life around the river. And uh, this is just kind of a collection of thoughts. So don't expect a story. <laughs> but come, me, come meet us. Come meet us at the river. The song is Rivers and Roads. <laughs> That's not how the song starts. This is really one of the beauties of being a string musician in the Pacific Northwest is that uh, it's always so humid and sometimes you'll wake up in the morning and your instrument will be significantly larger than it was the morning before. And uh, sometimes we'll be part way through the show and that'll happen. That's even better because you get to hear Andy tune part way through the show and that's 
It's just really special, I think. It makes me feel like a, like a real musician, you know? Or if you're like, if you're like me, you'll accidentally leave your mandolin in your truck overnight last night. <laughs> last night? <laughs> last night. Oh. And you won't open the case all day because you're stressed that it's cracked. <laughs> And then you'll open it at the show and it'll be fine. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's brutal. That's a sad story. Right there. It's a stressful It's all good, story. though. It's, yeah, that was yeah. all. I knew the ending and I was that like, was, I made that up right now. <laughs> yeah. It didn't happen. <laughs> Storytellers. <laughs>
the road is bent to the shape of our hearts. Sometimes these hearts are full of pain. For us to bear one shape for far too long. But the road hard and the river will return to that greater course of time before too long. Always back to rivers and Thank you. That was that was our attempt at a studio fade. Somewhere out there, we're still playing, and you guys aren't here. Bring a chicken leg up here. Chicken leg. Hey, chicken leg. Hey, welcome. I have a chicken leg. Anyway. This is dinner, man. That's all. That's all I had to say. Is that your car? Okay, man. You kick that. Just be able to go down. Oh, yeah. Uh, better drink it. <laughs> all right. Well, like Ryan said in his uh, preamble to Zach's song earlier, um, we play a lot of bars, and we play we play some rowdy bars. We play some chill bars, but we play some pretty rowdy bars sometimes, uh, at least Pacific Northwest, um, and uh, you know. They, they stay up late and watch you, they like yell for songs, throw money at you. I mean, it's not the worst problem in the world to have, though it hurts the morning after. Um, so anyway, after playing plenty of those shows, it, 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 it's important to say that it, I'm talking about Chair 9. Chair, <laughs> chair, chair 9 is a specifically rowdy place, uh, and we love them. <laughs> I feel like it was part of why these guys got excited about playing with the band is because we played a Chair 9 show and they were like, oh my god. <laughs> they treated us like kings there. Whatever we wanted, we got. I mean, being treated like kings includes being screamed at to play... Um, we were not good kings. Also, um, we, we, have to clarify, maybe. we have to clarify that it's being treated like kings in Glacier. Get, <laughs> it's being treated like kings in Glacier. We should just yeah. clarify. <laughs> so. uh, Very different. Freebird and Country Roads. That was the other one we got oh, hollered at to play. Anyway, we're not going to play Country Roads. Country Roads. We love them. We love Pete. <laughs> Ever. Not anyway. just at this show. Ever. <laughs> Long story short, we, we, we wrote a drinking song. I actually don't think we have played this song at Chair 9 since we wrote it. Um, but anyway, this is a song for debauchery and drunkenness, so feel free to hoot and holler and drink your beer, spill it on the floor. I, I really want someone to like break a beer bottle, but... I don't think that's what the theater wants, so Can't condone it. maybe skip that. Unless no, you're like arch nemesis is sitting next to you and this is the time, you know? I'm not gonna stop you. Okay. Great intro. Well, <laughs> big fan. Two, one, we 
normal fast as that? Yeah, fast. Triplets are hard in that. Trinkets are. You call it. How fast you can do it. Two. Two. Out from the county pound, they was looking to make a buck playing poker at the tables in the easy town. Well, that dough ran low, and they knew that it was time to call. I heard they lost their edge when the house said drinks for all. They said drinks for all. They said drinks for all. All you fat cat gamblers, that's right. There's drinks for all. There's Are sitting at a bar at half past nine. The priest says to the others, Well, hey there, brothers, don't you know that I'm feeling fine? The wise man's laughing with the rabbi as he orders his whiskey tall. From the rabbi, I heard it said, In a heaven, there's drinks for all. He said, Drinks for all. Oh, yeah. He said, Drinks for all. Are you saints and sinners? That's right. For all, there's dreams for all. There's dreams for all. All you holy rollers, that's right. There's dreams for all. Damn now. Well, that farmer was away, so they made some hay and started partying really hard. Until that bull broke loose and shouted, Hold down for one and all! Ah, oh, that kitty grabbed her fiddle, started singing out drinks for all. She sang drinks for all. Yes, she did. She sang drinks for all. All you hogs and heifers, that's right, there's drinks for all, there's drinks for all. All you barnyard critters, that's right, there's dreams for all. And when the barnyard hit the town And the priest cried out Let the raptures come When the bull broke the bar wall down So they all cut loose Until the old red dog did ball She cried, it's a wild world But I love you, let's drink for all
tear this barroom down Move on to the rest of town Till we gather this whole world round Our one and all for drinks for all Thank you, salute Well, this next song is a lark. I like to welcome the big band out to the stage. Y'all come out here. Come on, big band. Everybody, give a, give a round of applause for some of Bellingham's best. We have Alex Larson Kubiak, Pace Rubido, Jane Coverbolds, Jimmy Austin, Christian Castellari, and Connor Helms. Please, a round of applause. <laughs> Folks, this tune is a real Hail Mary, so uh, we are very excited about this. <clears throat> oh, gosh. I, I should say, too, you know, uh, is anybody, did anybody read the Moomin Trolls series growing up? Anybody? I know you know what I'm talking about, Mom. <laughs> all right, no Moomin Trolls fan in the audience. Um, all right, well. Yeah, I guess that's, that dead ends that storyline. Um, well, anyway, uh, this is a song about little moon warshipping, non-binary aliens that live up in the moon. They live up near the moon and they warship the moon. They're bringing it down and they love the moon and they're singing about it. It's, um, it's really, I uh, just join us there in your imaginations. Thank you. Um, and, uh, and we'll go there too. Um, yeah, I know, right? This is what happens to the song following that song. <laughs> um, moon's Good Squire is a song I'd like to dedicate to my mother-in-law, Sharon, too. She's always on about the moon. Uh, she tells us about it all the time. So uh, uh, when this song came to light, it was kind of with her in mind in some ways. Uh, mostly just the moon. It's about the moon. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Take that moon and call down, down, down across the sky, sky, sky. You call.
the moon. Take the moon. Take that moon. Take the moon. Take that moon, 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 moon. May I inquire? May I inquire? To be your squire. To be your squire. Because I'm your song on the set list for you tonight and we'd like to welcome one more guest to the stage for that song for our final song farewell my dears good night we would like 
to. Welcome. Hey. Key and die, everybody. Give it up for Key and Die. last song of the recorded album portion. I mean, we're going to keep recording if we just by some weird chance of fate happen to play beyond this next song, but um, this is like what's going to go on the album, and uh, you'll know the lyrics to the chorus by the final chorus. Please join us. Right. By the final chorus, anyway. <laughs>
so much, folks. Once again, we are Crooked Constellation. Thank you so much for coming. Farewell, my dears. Good night. <laughs>